Now, as we go through this, you will need a laptop or a PC with at least one USB 2.0 port and optionally an HDMI port. Uh, you will need a coaxial cable to connect to your antenna and to the TV stick we're about to discover. And uh, you'll need, of course, an antenna, as it shows in the center of the screen, a digital television also that is set up uh, to receive uh, the digital antenna that is new to us today. And, and that TV can have an optional HDMI port. The key to all of this is the Hopodge WinTV HVR 950Q USB TV tuner stick. It takes free antenna television, which is now in digital, and converts it to something your computer can understand. It is rather simple to hook up. Um, you simply connect the uh, TV stick, as you see right there, to your laptop through the USB port, and it will install itself. Um, now, you'll need to choose which antenna you want to use to uh, do this. Uh, there's one that comes in the box, and there's one that you can also use, which is your home antenna. The one in the box only picks up if you're right next to the TV station. So our choice is going to be the antenna connection in our home, which is connected through coaxial cable. So you will connect that coaxial cable to the USB stick to pick up the stations that are coming from your antenna. Uh, in this, we also have two choices. There is a GUI interface that comes with the TV stick called Win TV that you can use to record and watch your television. Or you can use Windows Media Center, which is on your Windows 7 computer. Now, we will use Windows Media Center because we can set up an extender with it and actually send the video through our wireless network that we record uh, and the generic version, the Win TV, cannot do that. If you choose to use the Win TV generic version that came with the TV stick, you must use a HDMI cable to connect from your computer to your digital television. Now both of those must have an HDMI port now, if you choose to connect across your wireless network, as we will do, you will need to set up the extender in Windows Media Center on your computer and send the information to an Xbox 360 video game console that is connected to your network and your digital television. So let's go ahead and get started in setting up our connections. Let's begin by finding Windows Media Center on your computer. First, we'll go down and click on Start menu. We'll type in Windows Media Center. We probably won't have to write the whole thing. So we'll go up and click on Windows Media Center. It opens up. Now we are to scroll down from TV, down to the task, and then go to the right. And click on add an extender now it will take us to the process of setting up the extender from the computer to the Xbox 360 and eventually to the television screen now we will click next and we will be prompted to fill in a code we will receive this code from our Xbox 360 and uh, we'll need to open up Windows Media Center there and set up the connections so let's go there and go through the process of doing that all right, open up your Xbox 360, go to System, a little bit farther, go down to Computers, go to Windows Media Center, you want to set up the connection, go down to Setup, and we will press Continue. Windows Media Center will connect and we are given a number to put on our computer. All right, now we have the code, we'll type it in, and Windows will send the information needed to connect across the wireless network, which will make our computer display on the TV through our Xbox 360. We'll click Next, and the process begins. 
Right after a long process, the computer tells us that the wireless connections have been made. We will click next. It tells us that it warns us that it would be a better connection if the computer or Xbox 360 was directly connected. We're going to click next, and we see that our extender setup has been accomplished. We will now go into our recorded TV. We're going to click on that. We see some manual recordings come up. Here's one recording we've made. Here's the neighbors. Here's the Big Bang Theory and the metal. Let's see if those are on the TV screen also. We'll click on recorded TV on our television. And there is our manual recording, the neighbors, the Big Bang Theory, and the metal. So it has accomplished our process. We are now going to schedule a recording. You see that Castle is already in the process of being recorded by the red dots on the side of it. We're going to go up to Add a Recording and click on that. Now you see here we can use the guide or the search. We can also use the wish list or the keyword to search. We're going to use the guide. And we see again the red dots by Castle showing it's being recorded. We're going to scroll down. And we're going to click on the Twilight Zone to record it. We see the Twilight Zone synopsis come up. We're going to click Record. And this program should be recorded. All right, we are now back in our Xbox 360 and uh, we're going to go into it and connect to Windows Media Center again. We'll click the middle Xbox button on our Xbox controller. We'll scroll down to Windows, well back, down to Windows Media Center and click. It will contact Windows Media Center and connect. We will now click on Recorded TV. We see the Twilight Zone. It's already recording. We're going to click on that. It comes up. We've already watched a little. We're going to go back to Restart and hit Play.